and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to two cars that can't do anything correctly, and the Boss Eye. Boss Eye would like to say hello. You are now riding with Boss Eye number one and Boss Eye number two. And together we are the two Boss Eye. Little background information. His name is Nick, and I call him Boss Eye because back when we were in school together, we were the two bosses of our class, and so we called each other the Boss Eye, like the plural of boss. So he is the Boss Eye, I am the Boss Eye, we refer to each other as the Boss Eye. And that was a pretty sick intro. Not gonna lie, I think you're gonna like that one, Nick. Maybe this one will actually be in the correct exposure. Wall. Alright, so I'm here with the boss side today. And we have him on the Tiresome GT650R. The fairing version of the 650 Hyosung. And we are here today for two reasons. One, we're here to have fun. And two, we're here to show you a little bit later how a 650 in the right hands can be much faster than a 600 in someone else's hands. Because his he on his 650 He's been on it for two plus years now, and he can ride that thing like nothing else, I'll tell you that much. He can flick that thing around corners, he can almost knee drag, I'm pretty sure he would if he had riding pants, but he can almost knee drag it. He is just a really fearless dude in the corners, I'll tell you that much. He's an awesome guy. We're gonna take it a little slow through Jonestown up here though, because apparently he got stopped in his Corvette up here and he wants to take it slower so we don't get in any trouble by the cops. So this vid goes out to everybody who thinks that 650s are slow because they really are not in the right hands. When you get comfortable on a 650, you can do a lot more on that thing than you can on a 600. At least if you hopped on a 600, I mean. And for you guys that saw my video, Vlog with Dad Part 2, where I talked about this bike and my old bike, this is Nameless Road, the road that we turned down right here. Nameless Road. So, that's where Nameless Road is. Oh, and if you've ever watched uh, Chase on two wheels or anybody from down there do a, uh, a run on Blood Mountain, this is kind of our version of Blood Mountain. So it's more dangerous than Blood Mountain, I would say, because it's not two lanes wide. It's only one lane wide. And, or one lane on both sides, I mean. But, um... And there's a lot of blind turns with corners that you can't see through. And the road surface isn't as good as Blood Mountain, but it's it's the Texas version for us. So And there goes my bike in fourth gear sounding like it's turboed again. I'll give you guys a little example of how my bike sounds turboed in fourth gear. Ready? Wait. You can't hear it that much, but it has this really high-pitched whistle to it, like a, like you would hear out of a turbo. It's almost the exact same pitch, too. Alright, Boss Eye, head it up. Here he goes. Alright, no cops behind us. 
All right, guys. Here's where the magic's gonna happen. Music time. Again. 
There he was. Uh, Nick, I don't know if you know this, but your blinker like broke. I don't know what happened, but your blinker broke. Never even knew there was an exit that way. I have no clue how we didn't get tickets. I was approaching that cop at 127. So it was off? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't anywhere on the corner. Yeah. So I had to slow down for that truck and then the truck was there. Yeah. And it just like caught me. I'm like, shit, 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 shit. Yeah. Like, I, I did. I was like, break! I was like, vroom! I was down shit. And then I used mostly back brake. Yeah. So my forks would depress a lot. Yeah. Uh, Huh? Then, then he started going. And by no, he didn't. What? No, he didn't. No, he didn't? Okay. Mm. Well, what I can tell you is he stepped on the brake and put his car in drive. Yes, he did. Him. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah. What's up with your blinker? Yeah, I noticed that on the way down here, and I was like, um, your, your, your blinker's broken. It works, I think. What? I said, I think it works, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> yeah, it works. Somebody knocked that off in my garage. Yeah. I'm gonna kick somebody's ass. Sounds nice. I don't want to take your key. <laughs> um, then you proceeded to take a large rock about yay big, run over it, and shoot it at me. <laughs> that, I yelled so loud, I was like, ow, oh my god, ow, ow, just breathe, just breathe, just breathe, and I was just like, ah. <laughs> I didn't see your rock because I was too busy looking at my ears. <laughs>